uh, not really much different. It was uh, just over the weekend, just a really poor performance from, from myself. Uh, yesterday, some other things came into it yesterday, but mostly myself. And then today, just one of the worst races that I've driven, just lots of mistakes. And the drought is finally leaving the head of Hamilton. The unluck that pulled Hamilton behind this season is finally finding its way out. The British Grand Prix was the beginning of a champion's return. The only wish of F1 enthusiasts is finally over. Will this be the beginning of something huge? The Mercedes fans were finally forcing them to believe that Hamilton was somehow out of his potential. But guess what? The British Grand Prix gave the paddock an adrenaline rush while watching Hamilton shine like a diamond. The British GP will be remembered forever by Hamilton and Mercedes. Despite all the setbacks that he had in this season, Hamilton is finally finding his way back to glory. At the same time, it will be a learning lesson for McLaren and Lando Norris. While Hamilton is praised for his comeback, some experts believe McLaren's blunder moves paved the path for Hamilton to the podium. Nevertheless, this win was crucial and much needed for Hamilton to stop doubting himself and his potential on the track. So, is this a comeback for Hamilton? Lewis Hamilton, the face of F1 in the past decade, was having some hard times in the 2024 season. The continued underperformance and back-to-back -back DNFs, along with the low point position in the ranking table, were quite surprising for him and his fans. When the F1 paddock expected Hamilton to grab the 2024 title, his strategies were not helping him much. Starting from the Bahrain Grand Prix, Hamilton was not at the pace that he was supposed to. Afterward, the Australian Grand Prix was a bad dream as well. Hamilton endured his worst start to an F1 season before going to Ferrari in 2025. After the three races till then, his scorecard echoed eight points, which was quite surprising for the paddock. In Melbourne, one of the most echoed criticisms was that the W14 was more aligned towards the needs and preferences of George Russell rather than Hamilton. Then the Suzuki circuit was hoped to be a savior for him in the Japanese Grand Prix, but it didn't end well. Although starting from P7 for the first time this season, Hamilton could not pass Russell, finishing in P9, despite the improvisations on W15 that didn't help Hamilton, unlike Russell. Even though the paddock had seen some improvement in the preceding Grand Prix, the Monaco Grand Prix was again a setback for him. While the suspicion of preferential treatment prevailed above the head of Mercedes, it was the Canadian Grand Prix that blew its lid. In addition, the tire choice made by Norris and McLaren handed over the lead to Hamilton in split seconds. And Norris was a lap too late in choosing to make the switch, which allowed Hamilton to undercut past him with an earlier pit stop. Hamilton came in at the end of lap 38 as Norris stayed out for a further circuit which enabled the Mercedes to gain time on the faster compound. The lap too late is completely on me, Norris said post-race. Since he missed the mark in the pit stop, it snatched away the last chance for Norris to come out before Hamilton, losing him a couple of seconds. When it comes to the tire choice, McLaren chose to put soft tires on Norris in the final stint, while giving medium tires to Piastri. The price that they paid for it was too high. After the match, even the McLaren team principal admitted that it was a mistake to put soft tires on Norris, taking note from Mercedes. He also admitted that they made a blunder earlier in the race when choosing not to double stack Piastri behind Norris in the pits. Many calls are to be made. Many were right, but there were a couple that in hindsight we would do differently. Andrea Stella said to Sky Sports F1, soft tires are never recommended for the final stage of the race as they can adversely affect your control in the race. Norris was caught and passed by Verstappen on lap 48. Red Bull chose to offer hard tires, 
which exhibited magic in the last stage. But it was not enough for Verstappen to overtake the ignited Hamilton. Max Verstappen did have a troubled start, but his efforts to regain the pace were pretty evident throughout the race. Despite looking increasingly quick on the hard tires in the final laps, Verstappen did not have enough time to fight for the lead and crossed the line in P2 for Red Bull, while Norris completed the podium in third. Piastri managed to finish fourth, followed by Ferrari's Carlos Sainz in fifth and an impressive Nico Hülkenberg in sixth for Haas. After claiming his maiden F1 victory at the Miami Grand Prix in May, Norris had a high chance to win this race. But he and his team combined to make several errors that cost a little too much this time. I know it's a podium at the British GP, but I'm fed up with just saying I should have done better, and I should have done this and could have done that or whatever," a depressed Norris said. Even though the disappointment is still lingering, Norris is all set to look back on the matter and do better in the next race to fix what he has broken. It is a comeback for Hamilton. Underperformance and self-doubt should leave this driver now so that his spirit will shine in Ferrari in the 2025 season. The Marinello team is all set to back the seven-time champion, Lewis Hamilton, in the 2025 season, which will give him a field to unleash his long-lost potential on the grid. Hamilton and Ferrari's main goal will be to win the title as the seven-time champion gets into the team. However, Hamilton's chances of winning the title seem uncertain at this point, as it might take a little longer for Hamilton to gel into a new team. A shift from the Silver Arrow to a whole new system might demand Hamilton to push a little harder, but being the best player in the F1 world won't be an arduous task for Hamilton. Challenges in front of Hamilton are many. The biggest challenger would be Max Verstappen, who is aiming for the same title. Even when some internal conflict conspiracies are floating over the relationship between Max Verstappen and Red Bull management, that would not be a potential reason for Verstappen to lose his world title. He has a high chance of grabbing the world title, even if Red Bull or Mercedes backs him. Keeping the energy that he acquired from the Silverstone circuit will definitely push Hamilton the extra mile. So, what do you think? Will this be a new beginning for Hamilton? Comment your opinions, like the video, and share it with your fellow F1 fans. Please be sure to check in by pressing the bell icon and subscribing for more F1-related content. Bye for now!